Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a collective thrift haul. Starting with these three tops. I bought these three tops to go to the gym. And just a gray one, green, pink. These aren't really like anything special. They're just shirts that I can wear to the gym. I'm not going to be wearing these with like everyday outfits. Usually I'm like black, white, gray. But I've really been loving brown recently. And I picked up two brown pieces. The first being this top. It's like this patterned, I guess like... Not honeycomb because this isn't a hexagon, but like similar, like a waffle pattern. The tag on the inside was removed, but I think it's a Ralph, like a Lauren by Ralph Lauren top based on the color of the like little ends left of the tag. I think this is really cute. I don't usually wear shirts with sleeves that are like halfway, but I thought this was really cute. The second being this skirt. And now, look at this. Look at how small this skirt is. I bought this off a thread up. And I didn't read the measurements. So it came, and I'm like, hmm. It was like folded up like this. Let me show you. Like this. And I'm like, oh dang. This is a mini, mini skirt. Girl. This is, like, who is this gonna fit? This is like the size of my head. It's not gonna fit me. I paid $17 for this. If I return it, I would get $2 back with the shipping and the like restocking fee. I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I think I might just buy some material to like make it bigger this way, like in the around the circumference and maybe for the length as well because it's pretty short. But I'm just so disappointed. So next time I buy on Thread Up, I'm gonna read all the measurements. I'm gonna read everything. This is a Juicy Couture. It's a size P. I don't know what that means. But I thought it was cute. Like the little bows on it are cute. The color is really nice. But it's just too small. Or I may resell it if anyone wants this, wants to buy it from me. Like it's all yours, babes. Along with the brown juicy skirt, I bought this blue juicy jacket, the tracksuit jacket. It doesn't have anything on the back or the front, but it's like rhinestone on the hood. It's not cropped, but it's like, if you're wearing low rise jeans, it fits like right above the low rise jeans. And I think it's so cute. First juicy track jacket, love it. Love the color, don't usually wear blue. So this is like, a bit of a statement piece, if you will. If my hair is like in a slick back bun, this would look really cute. With my hair curly like this, it doesn't look the best. It's kind of similar. I don't know if it's actually similar, but it reminds me of, there's a picture of Britney Spears and she's wearing like pants that I think are that color. And that's what that reminds me of. It's probably not even that color knowing my memory. Okay. Do you guys ever buy something that you know is too small for you, but it's cute so you buy it anyway? That was me. I made that decision. Even though I've mentioned this in a video. The next mistake is buying things that don't fit, are uncomfortable, or that are in an unflattering color. I buying something too small, that's a dumb mistake. But I did it. I bought these pants. These jeans. These are by, I think it's Will I or Will E. Willie Smith or Will I Smith. And it's these cute pants. I thought these are so cute and they flare at the bottom but they're a little too small for me but if I move the buttons I think it'll fit better and then also I might add a diamond gusset in the inner thigh part to like give me more space in the thighs and if the diamond gusset is like not necessary anymore then I can just take it out if you want to know what a diamond gusset is I'll leave a tiktok link down below how to do a diamond gusset and what a diamond gusset is but bought these really cute Will I Smith is a black designer and when I saw the tag I was like I have to buy it even if they are too small for me like I gotta get them. I gotta support black brands even though I'm buying it from a thrift store. You guys get the message. Speaking of a message, do you know what Glass Onion, 10 Ways to Lose a Guy and Bride Wars have in common? Kate Hudson. And when also features Kate Hudson, almost famous. And I know what you're thinking. What does Kate Hudson have to do with this haul? Actually, she 
She has a little bit to do. She was in a movie, Almost Famous, and I bought some jeans by the brand, Almost Famous. And they are the most perfect lowest jeans I've ever seen in my whole life. Like, no competition. Starting with the overbelt little thing. I don't know what you call it, but it's amazing. Look at it. She's beautiful. And then let's talk about the zipper. This zipper is the smallest zipper I've ever seen in my whole life. Look. Look at how small this zipper is. That's it. That's the whole zipper. Look. The smallest zipper I've ever seen. It's probably not even three inches. The pockets. So cute. Again, these are by Almost Famous. They're ripped a little bit, which I love a ripped jean. The layered at the bottom. Like, perfect. Perfection. How could you get any more perfect? You can't. More tops I have. I bought two black long sleeves. This first one, DKNY. Now I bought it and I was like, ooh, this is cute, but it's a size small and I didn't try it on because the, the store that I went to didn't have, what are they called? Dressing rooms. But I thought it was so cute, the little ruffly part in the front. And tried it on and it looks really cute. It's kind of like mother but like I guess mother's okay like I'll be mother <laughs> and the next one I love this one I did realize it has a hole in it but I love it it's so cute there's a little hole right here but if you sew it up or if the shirt's a little pulled up a little you can't really tell it's this off the shoulder top like this so cute mesh you don't have to wear a bra with it if you have the over the shoulder part like folded down it should cover but if you want to wear a bra go for it maybe like a bright colored one if you want it to like stand out it's by the brand cache this also went me small and i was a little worried it wasn't gonna fit but it fit onto accessories not quite a few we got this cheetah print scarf thing you can go around your neck I thought it was cute. I think it's about to a coat, but still cute. Reminds me of Daphne. Love that. I got this tie. This tie, it reminds me of like an optical illusion. But it's by BCBG Attitude. But the little sticker thing, the tag, is green. And it reminds me of that DKNY perfume. The apple one. I think it's called Be Delicious. So Delicious something delicious that green reminds me of that apple perfume like identical colors anyway got this tie love it think it's cute this tie i also got this is by the custom tie is what it says i loved how it was white but it had like a cool design on it so cute i don't even wear ties that often but when i see like cool ones i just gotta buy them next scarf is this ruffly like crochet thing and I think it's so cute featured this in my last video where I showed you my favorite fashion week looks and then this one so cute reminds me of the scarves that London Tipton wore in Sweet Life of Zack and Cody so cute and then there's also like clips on it so if you want it to be worn like the the shoulder thing, you know how people wear it like around their shoulders for dresses? There's a clip on it so you can do that. This is by Valerie Stevens. If I didn't say a brand, it's because there wasn't a tag on it. The sunglasses are by Izod. I thought they were cool. They kind of remind me of like a, like an 80s like aviator cop glasses. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know why I'm swinging around this hanger. Anyway. That was it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed like i mentioned earlier check out my last video where i showed you my favorite fashion week looks and make sure to subscribe here Bye.